Oh yeah! Welcome to my reaction to my. This is technically my first Sunny V2 video. Technically, the other one is. There's no other one. This is the worst van life families on TikTok. It's gonna be sh well. I think this is like one of the shortest Sunny V2 videos, but let's take a look. Let's go. Kids sleeping on the floor. On the floor? How are they looking happy? They're probably like forced to look happy. Or pets held in tiny ca cages. Is this the cage? Cages and this entire bathroom for a family of five. Oh my god. That potty's gonna smell like shit. Well, potty shit. Extra time. X five times shit. I've uh, had some teenager. Yeah, since this is gonna be long, I'm just gonna pause it whenever I think there's something interesting. Teenagers, oh, that's his bed. That's his bed. So he, he, it's crouch. He, nine. Oh, he has a Pokemon shirt. 1995. Oh man. They can never have a girlfriend or a boyfriend come over because they're stuck in that van. Is who can? Can we see Edison's area with all the decor? They're amazing. I'm 15. Fit children calling. It's like a coffin in here. Their beds cough. They can't even do the. They can't even watch the corn in their camper since everything is like not very really noise proof. And you're still just scratching the surface of the worst van life TikTokers. Take for example Red, White, and Bethu. 400 following, 100,000 followers, oh my god. They gained 11.4 million views by showing how terribly unspacious their kids' beds were. Oh, he's too big for that. He's crushing his kids' bed. He's crushing his kids' bed. Were. This should be illegal. Those kids are gonna suffer in that space, man. To make matters work. Their parents are like setting them. Oh, I can't. I can't say what. I, what's on my head? I can't say what's on my head. First, the beds had Brain rock cell. climbing holds instead. Of Don't think of something stupid. Of a ladder, which their daughter almost fell from, whilst trying to show they were easy to use. So Molly's gonna demonstrate getting in. This is like a rock climbing ledge. Why would you use this? Use a ladder. The bar can show you just how easy it is. How will they get down in the middle of the night when it's dark and they want to use the restroom urgently? What if they fall and hit their head? These so-called bunk beds were actually just shelves, yet the family still defended them as being spacious. Look at him at fit the same in time. it. I think like an... A uh, navy ship has like a bigger space than the bunk has a bigger space than this. Get this. Wait, wait. At the same time, Is get that this. Dog, dog. This. The parents have a king size bed. The reason why we put a king size bed in our. Wow. That, that's. Ow, ow, ow. They're living their life while their kids are in like coffins. Our bus. They have an air. Wait. King size bed. They have an air conditioning unit too while everybody else is like dying of bed. The reason why we put a king size bed in our bus is because it's our lounging area. As well as a massive desk for edit. What happens when mommy and daddy go at it and the kids hear TikToks forcing the kids to do their schoolwork on a tiny kitchen table. If they don't help out with the van, the kids are punished publicly. Last night, Molly chose not to do her chores. And if our kids don't do their chores, they have consequences. Which the parents still defended even after heavy criticism. Yes, our kids have consequences. Yes, if they don't do the chores, they're gonna have to pay. And to the trolls, keep on talking How shit. How are they getting punished? Keep on posting. See you guys on your For You page. They have like three dogs. They have how many pets do they have? It, it... But wait, it still gets worse. Uh -oh. Everything we've shown so far is in this bus here. Yet they also have a van to take on holidays, which has. What's the difference? What's the difference? 
just take the big one on holidays. What's the 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 van for holidays looks smaller? Even less space than the bus. Come take a peek inside they and get... see what we've done. The van doesn't have a bed for everyone, meaning one of the kids sleeps on this leather chair. Maybe there'd be a bit more space if they didn't own four massive dogs. Well, three of them are massive dogs. This one is tiny as why does the head look so weird in this picture? Which is shoved in a tiny cage below the bed, yet they still have more space than the toilet. It's covered by nothing but a thin fabric sheet and sits right uh, in the middle of- Oh, you gotta smell that. You gotta smell that. Where everybody lives. They call the vehicle their vancation home, meaning when the kids get tired of living in the first van, they're blessed with a trip in an even smaller one. Honestly, I would just stick with the big one. I don't want- I don't want- the the small one looks too much suffering. Family of nomads doesn't. Okay, two million, two point four million followers. Yolo. Have this problem. In fact, they first went viral for how much space they had. Okay, this is much comments nicer. Comments such as, "I don't understand why y'all don't nicer. just buy an apartment. It's way cheaper than this." They want to travel. They want to show off. This people. The the profile picture is just hilarious, though came to their defense stating there is literally no reason to be mad at this they're just rich except for maybe how their kids were living they'd show their room in this tiktok with the most notable part being that their eldest addison was a 15 year old teenager you should ask your daughter how she feels that she has no privacy at an age like she hers, can never I'm bring a boyfriend sure she wants her privacy addison hates you just because this rv is nice and there's room for their clothes it's no way to live i'm sure the teenager would love to have privacy get her a curtain or something well, the family did exactly this. We did they install finally these curtains curtain. over each of their bunks and they have a little bit of privacy. But it was still just one of many other problems. Home the school. kids were in a homeschool program, yet it seemed most of their education was just walking through national parks where the... She seems so dead. I see. It seemed most of their education... She seems so dead. Her straps are like down. ...was just walking through national parks where the parents thought they'd learn about life. Our lives are one gigantic field trip and... They, they're too egotistical to know what's wrong, wrong with what they're doing. So a lot of what the kids do are is by learning from experience. So for example, today we went to a national park and they completed the Junior Ranger program and it's incredibly educational. They're learning history from visiting different places around the country and days that we are not going out exploring, they do a traditional homeschool curriculum and then the days that we're exploring, we still count those as school as well. So they just huh? learn US history? Lol, when they go to college, they'll be in for a shock. Oof, that's scary. There's a reason schools aren't one giant field trip and this is a very good point. Schools are for more than simply learning subjects. Social they help build social circles and prepare kids for a disciplined way of life, both of which are neglected when strolling around the country. But the kids did have other challenges, like cleaning out the rat cage that's What the hell? Why rat? Stunk out the van. Ah, uh, I, I I can't imagine we We live in a camper and those poor our three kids have three pet rats and i would be absolutely lying yeah, to you, you can smell it that it does not smell bad usually it's the kids job to clean the rat cage but about once every month or two my husband and i will clean it and it just gets really gross as well as collecting firewood as seen in addison's day in the life yet people were still convinced she's gonna run away at 16 yet the mother went on to state i honestly don't know a single unhappy rv kid she'd even post the following uh -oh. tiktok to try and convince the audience a lot of people ask us if the kids actually enjoy traveling full-time and living in the camper and i will have to say that while we were at the rv show in tampa this week grace and addison both went around and looked at campers because their plan is when they move out, they want to live in a camper together and travel the country. When they Until move out. the video told a different story. Addison has struggled with their mental health for uh -oh. many years. Addison is currently back in treatment and won't be in our content during this time. To protect Addison uh -oh. during this time, we would like to ask for privacy on this matter. They need to call child services. Perhaps did she run away? The daughter was unhappy for a totally different reason. Cinnamon roll. 
get there. I'm random. There was still more evidence that she despised the van. For Addison's 15th birthday, the only thing they wanted was to go to a hotel. The video has since been deleted, although after arriving at their hotel, twice Addison mentions liking doors in the video. Privacy. A hint of them having less privacy in the camper. With conflicting messages about Addison's happiness, people commented, I can't wait for this gen of van kids to grow up and share their thoughts with the their kids are gonna hate them so much when they become adults world although this had happened much sooner than expected huh? on the r slash off my chest subreddit two an years ago account made the following post i'm a teen in a full-time rv living vlogging family and i can't stand it i hate it i hate it so much i hate being homeschooled i hate not being able to maintain a social life i hate having so little privacy i hate having to pretend to be happy with this we travel full-time i know i know it sounds like a dream I thought so too, but it's an effing nightmare. I just want a private normal life, but no. They had to ruin it with their crunchy way of parenting. It's all fake, by the way. Not what I meant when I said I wanted to take up acting. I'm frustrated all the time. I'm tired. I think a lot of family videos are like fake because they have to like put a show. They have to show extreme happiness or extreme sadness on camera. Or else nobody, they can't make a good thumbnail out of it all the time it's like probably very very draining for the kids i'm bored all the time please stop supporting these channels stop buying into it it's ruined my life and i can't say anything about it in comments the poster clarified i'm between 15 and 17 uh -oh. years old and they were the oldest of three siblings hinting it was addison from family of nomads she's exactly on reddit who the poster was has never been confirmed yet only a couple of months later the family announced they were in instead buying a house. Family of Nomads recently quit van life. Their kids seemed the happiest they'd ever been, while the parents were in tears as the RV was stored away. The eldest daughter has since vanished from the videos, uh -oh. with an unrelated comment summarizing what van life's like for kids. RV kid here. Let me tell you, RV is hell for children. I've been living in three a camp with my three brothers and parents, and these past two years have been an absolute detriment to my mental health. Yes, it's an amazing amazing opportunity I've been given to have seen all the places that I have, but I cannot recall a single positive experience anywhere I've been. I receive little to no education, and I'm scared I won't be able to pass my GED. I'll probably be repeating high school once I turn 18. Yikes. The happy caravan, however, clearly ignored this. 400,000 followers. How much money are they even making off Instagram and TikTok? Warning. TikTok pays like ass. They began by documenting their life. Okay. One, two, three, four kids. As a family Five of kids? 12, Six? And were 12? mostly liked by the audience. 12? 2022. Okay, so like in the middle of COVID. Until well, like near, near the end stage of COVID. They lived in a two-bedroom apartment. Tiny apartment. Is that legal? Having so many in a two-bed... Hey, when you're broke, poor, and you have you can only afford a two-bedroom apartment, you 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 you, have, you get what you get. It is what it is. It's better than being on the streets and homeless. Bedroom? Why would you make the choice to have a family of twelve but not be able to provide them sufficient room slash? This is a very important. But I'm just going to say as a joke that they did it for like government checks for child benefits or something. Base, although their holiday setup was somehow even worse. They'd fit the entire family into one single airstream, gaining 12 million views by showing how they slept. The three door. I mean, it might be probably better than their two bedroom apartment. Depends on how small the apartment was originally were on a table converted to a bed while another two slept below their brother who was sleeping in a bunk a different brother slept on the couch the baby in its cot ah uh, well the baby has its own bed at least cot, and of course the two parents had their own massive bed so what about the last two kids where well, the kids they got to sleep directly on the heart uh, this kid's eyes are dead it's pure black he's dead inside 
Godward. He's not even opening his eyes. He's just closed his eyes and smiling. Described as not perfect, but more comfy than a tent. You have two kids sleeping on the floor just for vacation and we mix it up. In our YouTube video, dad is on the floor, which by doing some digging was seemingly true. Hilariously, after being criticized, the parents magically found Enoch a blow-up mat in the closet. Enoch a blow-up mat. What the? I, I don't know what that is. It's, but for the is that most the branding part, the family name? isn't all that bad. Damn, they all know how to play the vi a string instrument. Violin? A Cello? Oh, wait. Wild family life. This is a different family. 35,000... Seven years. Especially compared to wild family life. They've been called the most hated van life family on TikTok, mainly for their bizarre family dynamic. The page is run by mother Nadine, who lives in a van with her three kids, along with both her ex-husband and her new boyfriend. What the hell? What the hell? What the clown? Friend, who she refers to as a home junkie she met on the streets damn I, I can't even say what the clown what the homeless according to junkly what the homeless junkie polygamy her tiktoks they're not polygamous he likes my new live together in harmony being able to do so because they have the biggest front yard the criticism however always extends to the kids they call their education program homeschooling world schooling travel schooling adding they help whenever necessary but they don't follow any official program technically i don't follow uh, any curriculum but we have this she cray -cray. App, uh, my kids learning with they set their cray -cray. Day. they do that by themselves there's nothing I have to do. Help them if needed explains everything. Doomed to fail. Then respond to the hate with the world's most hippie message. The only way to deal with an unfree world is to become so absolutely free that your very existence is an act of rebellion. Adding their kids are extremely satisfied with the life that they're living. People I would think, not be. Oh, poor children, poor children. But trust me, my children, they wake up, wake up with a smile in their face. They go to bed with a smile in their face. Yet it's. I, I don't know. Being with mom, dad, and mom's boyfriend in the same van would be hell for me perfect to finish with this comment here. When I was a child, I would have been very happy to eat nothing but candy and potato chips all day. But my mother did not let me because she knew better. It's a parent's job to do what's best for their children, not just what makes them happy. Well, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I... I, don't, I should do more Sunny V2 videos, but I keep on forgetting. Let me know if you want me to watch more Sunny V2 videos. And uh, yeah, bye-bye, bye-bye.